guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a really cute idea from the Dollar Tree for you. Um, I saw, I was in there the other day and I saw some round mirrors that I had never seen there before. Maybe you have, but I had never seen them. And I'm working on a project in my entryway. I'm working on a gallery wall and I'm waiting till I find exactly what I want to put there. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, with a little bit of fixing it up a little bit, it would be perfect. So let me show you what you're going to need for the project. Um, these are the mirrors that I found. They're just black. Um, and you can see they're just pretty, you know, plain like black. And um, so I got four of these, but I think I may only use three. And then you're going to need some of this um, cocoa brown Krylon Fusion or any color that you want. This is like a bronze with flecks of like um, like a gold and then um, another kind of fleck. I can't describe it. But um, my house is decorated Tuscany-like. So this goes with my decor, but whatever you want. And then I have the rose gold folk art metallic paint. And then I bought four of these uh, mirror candle holders right here. And then you're going to need a brush to do your dry brushing with. And then you're going to need hot glue. And probably, I'm going to use hot glue for this because it's quicker, but when I hang mine, I'm going to do probably um, like a fix haul adhesive from the Dollar Tree, something stronger. I don't want my glass to fall off what I'm gonna do with my mirrors. So as you can see, I've painted this one, and now it is bronze with that paint. It's just the spray paint. And you can already see the difference I hope you can see the difference that it makes. You might not be able to see it yet. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my Folk Art Metallic Paint and put it in here. And make sure I get it all over my bristles of the brush. And then just sort of dab it off into the plate so you don't get too much. And then I'm just going to take it and dab until I get the amount that I want on here. And it's really, I think this is a clever way, a very inexpensive and super easy DIY, but it gives you a lot of look for the amount of time and money that you're spending. I really, really do like it. And um, also I wanted to say that I'm very, so appreciative to, from, to my subscribers. Your time is precious and I know that. And the fact that you will take the time to watch my videos, it just warms my heart and I I'm so grateful to you and you give the thumbs up and you comment. I just can't ask for better subscribers. I know everybody says that, but I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. Okay, and then this is what you end up with. Depending on how much gold, I don't know if you can really see that or not. There you go. Depending on how much gold that you want. But you can see, it's here's one that I did earlier. And you can see that one. You can see the difference between the two. I mean, this is just, this one over here is, you know, not so great. But this, to me is really really pretty you can see it there you go it picks up really nicely so um, but anyway you just go ahead and put the amount of gold on that you want without getting rid of all that bronze and I also wanted to mention that my father-in-law is having open-heart surgery on this Wednesday 
and I really would appreciate prayers for him. It's a scary time for the family. I'm sure he's, you know, going to be all right, but we really are asking for prayers, and I really would appreciate it, and I know he would too. So, let me look at this. Okay, I think this is good. So, let me get a paper towel. And, let's see, let's start with this one. Wipe my, my mirror good. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Okay, I think you can see. Let me tilt that down just a little. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, first of all, I'm going to wipe this mirror off really well. And like I said, it's just a mirror candle holder. And what I decided to do, I thought, ooh, would that not push that up a notch if you added that in the middle? And I think that really gives it a totally new flare. I just, I think it's gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my glue on these pads for right now because I'm sure I'm going to have to go back with something stronger than just um, a glue gun. And then I'm going to look for the middle in here and put it where I think the middle is. And then I'm just going to hold it down until it adheres. And then I'm going to set this aside and go to my next one. But I think this is going to give it such an upscale look that I'm really, really happy with this. But that's what I've been looking for. It gives it dimension. It gives it, um, like I said, an upscale look. It just adds that little bit of pizzazz that I think that they definitely needed. And I chose the um, diamond shape or the square, and I'm putting them on an angle like a diamond shape. But, I mean, you could do the round if you wanted to do the round. You could do, the possibilities are absolutely endless with this. Sure, I'll pop that down really good. Okay, and then here's my third one. And I'm going to do the same thing. And you can see this is super, super easy. And um, very inexpensive. But I love the look it gives you. I really do. Oh, there's spider webs. Ugh. From that glue. Oh. It's like unbelievable. Okay, let me get it positioned. It's holding pretty well, though, I'll tell you. Maybe it's because it's onto that plastic. That one I didn't get. Down enough, so I think I'll move over to this one. Luckily, I had four. And then I'll get this on here. And we will almost be done. Definitely want to get it straight. Okay. Alright, so let me show you what we have now. Now we have this. I think that is just super, super cute. I really do love it. And so um, I'm going to go hang these up on my gallery wall. And I'll show you what they look like. But in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys. Okay guys, I'm back. And now you can see I've put them up at the top of my wall 
uh, don't pay attention to the wall because I'm not finished with it, but you can see it adds such a beautiful look. It looks so expensive. I'm going to eventually put pictures in through there, but I, I'm just taking my time and getting what I want. But I just think those are absolutely gorgeous. They give such an expensive look. For the price I mean you can't beat it so like I said before if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel until next time bye guys